Welcome to today's Research Business Daily Report. One of my favorite reports of the year because after our final Client of the Year award announcement, we're going to present RFL Communications' four big annual awards for market research achievements. We're sponsored today and this week by Nuance, offering multi-language verbatim coding services that help its clients quantify the meaning of open-ended answers. Nuance, a decision analyst company. Our final RBDR Client of the Year award in the B2B category and co-sponsored by Research Now goes to one of the more familiar companies in our business, Forrester Research. Senior VP of Data Insights Jill Chiara has led a team with a long-term track record of delivering excellent quality business-to-business -business work. And that team, quote, sensitive to the time commitments of B2B respondents, consistently focuses on bringing interesting and highly engaging surveys, end of quote, that according to Research Now. Forrester B2B also, quote, utilizes progressive, yet not constraining data cleaning methods to ensure quality, end of quote. So congratulations to Forrester Research and Jill Chiara from RBDR and Research Now. All of our Client of the Year award winners, by the way, are viewable at youtube.com forward slash RBDR channel as well as at rflonline.com. And in our January 2015 Research Business Report, we will be presenting all of the winners of these distinctive awards. On to RFL's annual research awards. The 20th Research Business Report Executive of the Year Award is the industry's longest running annual corporate achievement honor for corporate researchers. And it goes to IBM's Watson Group for its cognitive computing technology. Now, to be honest with you, we have been completely unable to convince anyone from the IBM Watson Group to speak with us on any subject, but we are nonetheless impressed with what they've been doing. Watson Group exploits and the unit's very directed action on several research issues have been explained in IBM press releases throughout this year. And one of its promises to make sense of social media is a profoundly vital goal that no one else has had the gumption to express publicly. No explanation is necessary from us about the hopes and expectations of research practitioners and client users in transforming social media data into a multifaceted faceted research tool. We hope to see in coming months the realization of the IBM Watson Group promise. Perhaps then IBM will speak to us on or off the record. Next, Research Conference Report's annual speech of the year is in its 18th year. This time around, we honor Yahoo Canada Head of Research Nick Drew and Fresh Intelligence Senior Vice President Josh Cormie, who spoke at MRMW in Chicago. They pointed out that mobile technologies have changed the way consumers remember, what they remember, and how they remember. Drew and Cormie drew a parallel between Socrates' premise 2,500 years ago that people who wrote things down back then had become lazy and were less willing to remember things, and they compared it with technology's impact on memory today. Specifically, they had research that indicates the greater the reliance a person has on a smartphone, an iPad, etc., the less they will remember even 18 minutes later. In other words, marketing and market research, which relies so much on what people recall, may be somewhat or greatly short-circuited by reliance on mobile devices. Truly something to consider. Each edition of Research Department Report points out the seemingly minor differences between client market research departments that are having substantive internal repercussions. So our annual Client Market Researcher of the Year Award is chosen on the basis of demonstrated major point of difference. And our selection this time around is Michael Ryan Todd for six years Texas Instruments Head of Research. Back in 2013, he decided to find out the comparative strength of TI's research department. So, he knocked on the doors of the research function at 15 competitors in the semiconductor field. Now, what client researcher would even think of doing that? And here's the big shocker. None of TI's competitors said, go away! In fact, Ryan Todd gained confirmation about the superiority of his research effort. And you can imagine the TI management reaction upon learning that 
and how much it boosted the research function's internal standing, along with other benefits. This terrific idea would have been repeated, but Ryan Todd left TI to join Research Now in the middle of 2014. But that doesn't preclude the idea from being adopted by other client market research departments. So if you're a client out there, give it some thought. And the last award, RBR's High Impact Award, goes to a company that maybe no one in our audience even knows about. Two-year-old Knowledge Hound from Vision is a data retrieval and visualization capability. And although it's not the first of its kind, it is a unique capability and it, that is made apparent from clients that have already dubbed Knowledge Hound the, quote, Google of market research, end of quote. This sophisticated technology can breathe life back into a company's use, reuse, and recycling of its completed research projects, and that includes all of the project's data points. A proprietary algorithm imports the client's research study data, notably its data files, research summaries, and associated documents. And that file then becomes searchable with all data also viewable. And it's made available to every client-designated employee. Imagine the value to a client right down the line from management all the way down to a field salesperson who could put it to use day to day. Knowledge Hound's most important benefits are time savings to, to find and round up the information from those internal studies. You don't have to spend a lot of time going looking for them anymore. The huge cost savings that come from eliminating duplicate studies and making company studies relevant and valuable for newly extended periods of time. That's your Research Business Daily Report, sponsored by Nuance offering multi-language verbatim coding services that help its clients quantify the meaning of open-ended answers. Nuance, a decision analyst company, would like you to know more about their product and service. And if you'd like to, we've got a link for you. It's www.nuancecoding.com. We hope you have a great research day since this is our last RBDR for 2014. We also want to wish everyone a happy Hanukkah, a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, and we'll see you back again on Monday, January the 5th.